For most of our history, humans have been explorers. We have wandered and stepped into new frontiers, not afraid of the unknown. And sometimes, we've brought along invisible companions that have spread disease among the unsuspecting strangers we've met. The entire planet has recently been impacted by an event that almost none of us have ever experienced in our lives. How did pandemics develop, and how have they impacted humanity over time? This is the history of pandemics. 10,000 years ago, all humans were hunter-gatherers, living in small groups and minimizing the chance of a disease spreading across the planet. The advent of agriculture brought us into close contact with livestock, which increased the risk of deadly diseases developing and infecting humans. As civilizations and trade expanded over millennia, increased travel meant that we could carry bacteria and viruses thousands of miles away from their origin. Ships filled with rats, fleas, and humans set sail for shores far away, bringing with them infections that could wipe out the native population. The plague of Athens is sometimes considered to be the world's earliest recorded pandemic and took place around 430 BCE. During the middle of the Peloponnesian War, which pit Athens and its allies against the Spartan Peloponnesian League, the Athenian population retreated to the city and began relying on a superior navy to fight battles. However, the migration from the countryside into the city, combined with poor hygiene and lack of resources, led to an outbreak of disease that killed 75 to 100,000 people. The historian Thucydides contracted the disease and recorded important events in his book, History of the Peloponnesian War. The disease is described as emerging from Ethiopia and spreading through Egypt and Libya into Greece and the broader Mediterranean. A quarter of the Athenian population may have died, and it was a major blow to the war effort. Although there is no consensus as to what caused the outbreak, some diseases that may fit the events that transpired include the bubonic plague, typhus, typhoid, and potentially even Ebola. If we move forward a few hundred years to 165 CE, we encounter the Antonine Plague, which proved to be much deadlier than the Plague of Athens. This was the era of the Roman Empire, with military conquests playing a key role in the empire's culture. Roman soldiers returning from campaigns in Turkey and Western Asia brought back a disease which killed thousands of people daily in Rome and had a fatality rate of 25%. The estimated death toll was approximately 5 million, with smallpox or measles as potential culprits. By 541 CE, the Roman Empire had given way to its eastern half in the form of the Byzantine Empire. This civilization ended up being severely affected by the plague of Justinian. Several contemporary sources reported the outbreak of the disease in Egypt, with trading ships believed to have brought the infection to Constantinople, the capital of the empire. Procopius, a historian alive at the time, reported the disease was killing 10,000 people per day in Constantinople at its peak. However, this figure is not definitively proven. The disease spread across the Mediterranean, potentially weakening the Byzantine attempt to conquer Italy. The death toll of the disease, which broke out several times over 200 years, is also debated, with estimates ranging from 25 to 100 million people, which was a quarter to half of the world's population at the time. The bacteria responsible for the plague, Yersinia pestis, would also end up playing a role in a future pandemic that would prove the most deadly in human history. In the 14th century, 
a different strain of the Yersinia pestis bacteria emerged in Asia and traveled along the Silk Road towards Europe. By 1347, it had reached Crimea and was transported through the Mediterranean region on merchant ships, eventually reaching Africa, Western Asia, and the rest of Europe. It became known as the Black Death. Europe in particular was devastated, with anywhere from 45 to 60% of the population perishing from the outbreak. In some urban areas, the death rate was even higher with up to 80% of the population in Florence dying within four months. In the Middle East, a third of the populace may have died, with this number potentially rising to 40% in Egypt. Estimates of the global death toll range from 75 million to 200 million, with the upper end accounting for approximately half of the world's population. Another major pandemic occurred much more recently, but in a completely different world from the one devastated by the Black Death. By 1918, the Industrial Revolution had transformed the face of the planet, with the emergence of numerous new technologies, including electricity, trains, airplanes, telegraphs, and explosives. The world was in the final stages of a major war, and similar to some ancient outbreaks, troop movements led to the spread of a new virus. The geographic origin of the disease is unknown, although popular theories include China or Kansas in the United States. The 1918 flu pandemic was one of the most deadly disease outbreaks in modern times, with potential deaths ranging from 17 to 100 million. The source of the disease was the H1N1 influenza A virus, However, unlike most strains of the flu, which primarily target the young or the old, this one also affected young adults with strong immune systems. The death toll of the disease even surpassed that of World War I, which was known at the time as the War to End All Wars. The most recent global pandemic, and one that has likely impacted everyone watching this video, is of course the 2019 coronavirus outbreak. Likely originating from bats, the earliest cases were identified in China in late 2019. By mid-2020, it had spread to nearly every country on the planet, with lockdowns and quarantines implemented in an unprecedented manner. As of recording this video, there were more than 4 million cases reported worldwide, and over 280,000 deaths. This disease single-handedly forced the world to shut down. Crowded streets and packed restaurants turned empty. Cities that never sleep saw their daily bustle and activity disappear as they seemingly transformed into ghost towns. An interconnected world temporarily cut its ties as international travel evaporated and thousands of airplanes were grounded. Millions of people stayed home from work and school with many losing their jobs. Despite this upheaval, the COVID-19 pandemic does not appear to be ending as of when I'm recording this. Pandemics have been occurring for as long as humans have been moving around. Whether it was soldiers returning from abroad or fleas on merchant ships, disease always finds a way to spread, with our species' interdependence also being its Achilles heel. Ironically, some of the technological advances that have improved our planet also play a key role in spreading pandemics. In our globalized world, COVID-19 should be a wake-up call that this is not the first pandemic to have impacted humanity, and it will certainly not be the last. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to drop a like or leave a comment down below. My next video will shift back to being about technology, so subscribe to make sure you don't miss that. I'll see everyone next time.